thanks for watching. I'm going to be covering the uh, sleeping pads that I use while backpacking uh, and, and a pad that I don't use. And I'll kind of give you the history of how I ended up with some of these pads. Uh, first one, this is a Thermarest z Light closed cell pad. Uh, I think it's around $40. This, I don't use this. This is my wife's sleeping pad. She hates air mattresses. I think that's strange. But hey, to each their own. Uh, I know a lot of people like these. Uh, one, they're inexpensive. Two, they're super reliable. There's really nothing to go wrong with it. Yeah, it wears out over time, but big deal, you can buy another one. Um, and they're easy to put away. That's the one thing I like about it. When you're ready to leave camp, you can just put it together and hit the trail. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to hang out at camp. I'm more interested in putting down some miles. So the easier it is for me to set up camp and the easier it is for me to depart camp, that appeals to me. Doesn't appeal to me enough to use this type of mattress. I'm a side sleeper and a good night's sleep is paramount. Uh, it's, it's not worth any kind of uh, weight savings or convenience for me to give up on having a good night's sleep. Anyways, so this is a Thermarest. It's full length. Uh, it's a Z-Lite. See what it weighs here. It does have these two straps on it. So it's 14.4 ounces. Again, that's with these two straps, so it's probably 13 and change, uh, 14 ounces. Some people like these too. If they use a a uh, frameless backpack, uh, you can use a you can use this mattress to become the load support for your backpack. So I get that, but I'm not giving up a good night's sleep to carry this thing. When we first got into backpacking, uh, we were sold these Big Agnes Air Corps. This is a standard air mattress from Big Agnes. It has an R value of one, which is about nothing. You will freeze if it's cold outside. I don't care what kind of sleeping bag you're in. This is a size regular, 20 inches by 72 by two and a half thick and it's square. Um, comfort's fine. Comfort on it was okay. But I found uh, in the winter I was I was cold. And I would end, end up bringing a much heavier sleeping bag which kind of negated anything because I'm carrying a heavier sleeping bag uh, in the same mattress. And this mattress it's one pound and almost uh, eight ounces. So it's one pound, 7.9 ounces. That includes a stuff sack and the repair kit that's inside. I quickly stopped using this. I then went on, so I had this genius idea. Well, I like the comfort of the Big Agnes. I'm going to buy the insulated air this has a R value of 4.1. Yeah, it's a little warmer. It's a lot bigger. Height's about the same. But this one I can compress a lot more. This pretty much is dominating the stuff sack. And I've said in previous videos that weight is important to me. It's not critical. Uh, real estate, how big an object is, that to me is very important because again I don't want to be carrying uh, a big bag. I, I, I don't want to. So this is a size regular, 72 by 20 wide by 2.5, stuff sack, repair kit, mattress, 1 pound, 12.5 ounces. So it's not that much heavier than the standard air core mattress. It's a lot thicker. Again, the comfort's the same. And as far as warmth goes, 
it was warmer, but it wasn't earth shattering. So moving down the line in my quest to trim pack weight and uh, back to the real estate, cut that back, I ended up buying the Thermarest Neo Air uh, x light it's the one you've probably seen hanging in a outfitter where it, it's that yellow orange you can kind of see through it and when you touch it it's really crinkly believe it or not when it's inflated it's not that crinkly it's it's not obnoxious um i actually i've i've actually woken up more people on the big agnes than i have on the thermo rest and maybe it's because i've been sleeping better and so i'm not moving around as much but i do move around a lot and again i'm a side sleeper and i prefer having an air mattress versus a closed cell pad. And I've heard of some people carrying two closed cell pads, but that's just madness. I'm not into that. So this again is a size regular. It's uh, 72 long, 20 wide. It's not 20. It's close though. And two and a half thick. These are a mummy cut. This mattress in the stuff sack with the repair kit, 13.1 ounces, well under a pound. And it still has room to compress. I should note that I carry my pillow, which is an Xped UL, Xped Air Pillow UL, which is reviewed in another video. And what I do is I, I just I roll it up and slide it back in the stuff sack and I put the air pillow repair kit in the stuff sack and we're ready to hit the trail. I live on the mid-Atlantic. I live in the mid-Atlantic in Pennsylvania and it gets cold. I know other places get colder but it gets cold and I'm cold all the time uh, so I really wanted to get a proper cold weather sleeping pad. But before I get into that, let me just jump back to, to this. This Neo Air x -Light. I told you that the Big Agnes Insulated Air Core has an R value of 4.1. This Neo Air x -Light has an R value of 3.2. It is warm. It's not hot. It's deceptively warm. When you are laying on it and you wake up in the morning and you reach over your shoulder to deflate it while you're on it, when you hit the ground, you will feel an instantaneous temperature differential. So it, that's really surprising. Um, again, for something that is well under a pound, doesn't take up a lot of room, it, it's surprisingly warm. It's not hot, but it's warm. I, I can't recommend, I can't stress enough how much I recommend this. This is just an awesome mattress. So I wanted a um, more cold weather rated sleeping pad. So I liked the Thermarest Neo Air X Lite, why not the Thermarest Neo Air X Therm? Same size, it's a the mummy cut. They only come in a mummy cut. This this mattress is gray. It definitely feels a little uh, more durable than the uh, X Lite. But the X Lite still feels durable. I've never, I never questioned it. I don't abuse it either, but I've never questioned uh, its durability. I will say the Big Agnes, they definitely feel like tanks. They feel like you could lay those things down anywhere and they'd be fine. But anyways, uh, the the X Therm definitely feels a little more burly. It comes in a stuff sack which doubles as a uh, inflator. Is there a repair kit? And here is a, a valve, which you, you just slide it over top of the valve for the mattress, and you can just scoop up some air and then you can inflate your mattress like that so you can get your cold breath uh, that has or your, your warm breath that has uh, moisture in it, so you don't have moisture crystals inside your mattress should it be really cold. 
look, I'm not hiking up any mountains like uh, the stuff in New Hampshire or New England when it's negative 40 degrees outside. I don't use this. I tried using it in the living room one time. It was crazy. You probably spend four hours inflating the thing. 19 puffs. Uh, I, I used it the last time I used it was uh, the other weekend. It was single digits and it took 19 puffs to inflate it. This mattress is incredibly warm. It has an R value of 7. You will feel the heat the moment you lay on it. It's insane. Um, as light as this is, you might want to consider just owning just this if you're only looking for one mattress. In this massive stuff sack with the repair kit, it's one pound, 1.4 ounces. So it's 17.4 ounces. Still considerably lighter than either of the big Agnes. And as far as heat goes, it blows it out of the water. That insulated air core, it's like sleeping on this. Again, this thing is deceptively warm, but this thing is hot. You could take a, a lighter weight sleeping bag because you will extend the ability of your sleeping bag by carrying a, a much more thermally efficient mattress. So that's my reviews on uh, my sleeping pads and how I came, how I ended up where I ended up. Weight's important, but pack size very important. The Thermarest, the Big Agnes, they're very comfortable. Personally, I would not recommend the standard Air Core mattress. Uh, that mattress has now become. A mattress that doesn't get used. If I did use it, I, would, I might use it when I'm camping at, at a, an event, like a bicycle race, and I, I, I don't mind carrying it in my car, and I know it's going to be warm anyways. Um, I do lend out the insulated air core when I have friends come out, and it's, it's a good summer bag too, or summer mattress. There's really nothing wrong with it. It's just bulky. So check out the Thermarest. <coughs> Neo Air X Lite and Neo Air X Therm. Again, it's 13.1 ounces for the X Lite and 17.4 for the X Therm. Thanks for watching.